Hello, I saw this tweet about CSSing the flag of Malaysia. And as you can see, it says I was a bit disappointed I couldn't do this with a single div. So I thought maybe I should give it a try. So the original pen is here, as you can see it. Um, and each one of those rays is done with a pseudo element of one of these uh, seven elements. There are 14 rays and um, seven uh, elements. So here I have a fork of this. And what I'm going to do is delete everything in there. So it's left just one element. And here I'm going to change from back background color to something like this uh, URL. And no, I'm not just going to put the image and say, well, this is it, one element. Uh, I just want to have it for reference. Um, and I'm also going to do something like this. Um, background blend mode. And this one's going to be uh, difference because I'm also going to have no repeat there. Okay. Um, and here I'm also going to set something like opacity 0.35 or something. Okay. And now I can see everything nicely. Um, here I'm just going to get rid of this to bottom because that's the default direction. Um, this one is going to go up to 50% and the white is going to go uh, from zero so that I have a sharp transition there, a sharp color transition. And as you can see, the color changes right in the middle, uh, in the middle vertically. Um, now let's take everything there and just okay and what I want to do is set a dimension so the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to have 14 and this is the number of stripes and of the rays of the star and I'm going to have stripe size this one's going to be 200% over N. And here I'm going to have zero, uh, 0. And it can be anything. Um, let's make it 1% because we save a character this way. However ridiculous that may sound. Uh, stripe size. Okay. So um, this uh, does it. And if I were to take this out, okay, it doesn't work because I have background image here, but now it does. Okay, and as you can see, we have a bit of a red line there, uh, and sadly, the way we can fix this is with linear gradient. Or maybe I can just uh, do, I can uh, do better than this. Uh, so I, I'm going to do a uh, repeating. Mm, is it worth it? I think I'd better just put another linear gradient over it. So uh, linear gradient, zero degrees. Um, I'm going to have um, white um, stripe size transparent zero. Okay, so um. This uh, should do it. No, actually, 0.5, sorry. Okay, and this does it. This is good enough. Okay, so now that I have this, I'm just going to do move on, and here I'm going to have before and also. After, and they're going to have some similar styles. So, um, first of all, it's going to be uh, this position, absolute. They have this common style, then they have the content, which is nothing. Uh, and something else I'm going to set in common is going to be a border radius. This one's going to be 50%. Okay. Um, now I can delete everything in here and everything in here, which uh, shows me 
Hmm. I'm going to need my blue. This was the blue. Okay. Okay. This shows me that I forgot something, but first of all, let's set this blue. So here I'm going to have another linear gradient, and this one is going to be from blue to blue. And it's going to be uh, 0, 0, and 50% horizontally. And vertically, it's going to be four times stripe size. Okay. So uh, this gives me that blue background. Um, no repeat. Sorry. Okay. So um, this is it what we wanted. Now the next thing that I'm going to do is set a color here. And for the after I'm going to set something like padding and a background. This is going to be a dummy value, so a red. And here I'm going to do something like this and left. Um, and here I'm going to have something similar. Uh, and I'm going to set the box shadow. Something like this. Okay. And then I'm also going to have a left that's something like this and something like this. Okay. I think I need it to be somewhat bigger. Okay, I'm going to need to increase this, so increase its spread by something like 1M. Okay, we're going to see about this. Um, now, what I want to do is make this book shadow depend on the width of the flag. And the way that I'm going to do this is instead of viewport width, here I'm going to use M's and here the font size is going to be our two viewport height units and I'm going to have media um, maximum aspect ratio 2 to 1 and here I'm going to set our font size to one uh, viewport width. So, okay, uh, this looks a lot better. Now I can uh, collapse this stuff. Mm, and I'm guessing some, I can do something like this. Um, Something like this. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, left. Something like this. Better. Okay. So um, that looks good. Now all that's left is the star. So here I'm going to set 
current color. I'm going to collapse this. Oh, and I just saw that I have a lot of code here that I'm not going to need. So that just goes away. And now for the star, I'm going to set a mixin here. So uh, mixin star n n. I'm going to have a base angle, and this one's going to be 180 degrees over n. And then I'm going to have a list of vertices, which is empty initially. Then I'm going to have a loop. So for i, i from 0 to 2 times n, I'm going to have the current angle, and this one's going to be i times the base angle, and then I'm going to have the current radius, and this one's going to be 50% times um, if and it's going to depend on whether i is odd or even. So um, if it's smaller than 1, then it's going to be 0.5. Uh, otherwise, it's going to be 1. And then I'm going to have that the x-coordinate of the current vertex is 50% because it's relative to the middle, plus the current radius times cosine the current angle And it's going to be the same for the y coordinate here, and this one's going to be sine. And here I add to the list of vertices to, uh, to the previous version of the list of vertices. I add the coordinates of the current point, and here I'm going to have clip path polygon the list of vertex coordinates and this should do it and I'm going to have to include this okay so here I'm going to set it as current color okay and I'm just going to uh, remove this opacity here, okay, and here from the body I can just get this away, okay, uh, so uh, yeah, this is it, and uh, this thing is responsive, so uh, my demo is responsive, and if I change the view, again, it's also responsive. Um, I can do something like this. Justify content uh, center. And now it's in the middle in this situation as well. As you can see. So, um, yeah. This is it. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And, uh, yeah. This is it for today.